It's like I told you. Someone went on a rampage. And now... I'll take it from here. I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. <laughs> we meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? <laughs> a director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen, with an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... a gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. <laughs> Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. This way, folks. Quick as you like. we're headed is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the gold saucer employees used to live. But with four 
reports of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top where it was safe. The building's vacant, and all sorts of low-lives, ruffians, and ne'er-do-wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, uh, the place it could have been. Tears me up inside. So, basically another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside, and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Money, fame, mercury. It's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop. Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. <laughs> Shit. And shine. <laughs> Top of the morning to ya. <laughs> well now, wouldn't try that if I was you. <laughs> All right, follow me. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Off we go. You just wait right there. Hey, boss, your guests are here. to welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? A uh, merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. But which <laughs> one of you is it? Is it you? Mm -hmm. You? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That hair is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? Dumbass. I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donnie C? Yeah. Let Think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key, out in the middle of the dunes. Now, I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? That little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your pigments. Right, help us out! Oh, hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of him. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say... 
There are plenty of other ways to raise the funds I require. Hmm. Can put a price on anything. Frick. Uh-uh. That's Gus to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> no need to worry about us. We can handle ourselves. Good luck. We're rooting for you. That's right. You just follow me. Or run for it. Go on. See how far you get. your new champ hmm. he's all yours so you're cloud the muck <laughs> can't say i was expecting someone so pretty pretty shrimpy. i'm esther chocobo wrangler pleasure wait cloud aren't you that kid from the ranch well hang on you two know each other what happened we were making our way to the saucer for pico's racing debut when these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? In a fryer. <laughs> the one and only. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. <laughs> oh, before you go. If you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. trouble finding that feed for Pico? Let me think. What about... Good luck out there, cutie pie. Help Pico's as ready as he'll ever be. If you can't win, you got no one to blame but yourself. This year's shop got Gus's seal of approval. and make them as flashy as Gus.
Let's get this show on the road. Come with me. Actually, on second thought, I'll take him up top. Does that work for you? Say what? <laughs> Fine. You want to go roll in the hay with this idiot? Go wild. And on that note, follow me. It's hard to believe this is the same Pico that nearly died in the desert. You should have seen him that first day, the poor boy. More dirt than Chocobo. Couldn't so much as give us a quail without coughing up sand. He's a whole new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest Chocobos can't win Jack without the right jockey. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Believe me, in the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. No pressure. Okay, on you go. Competing in the race today? Yep. We'll get your bird prepped for you. Just sit tight in the jockey lounge. And no wandering off, okay? Bug boy? Hmm? <laughs> hey there, Joe. Why, Esther, you grow lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh-huh, sure I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up-and-coming star of the track, and all ours. Be sure to wave high when he laps you. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though, you win her over with your skills, or with one of them smoldering looks? <laughs> Don't see why it can't be both. About time I had some competition, assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our sakes, I hope she isn't. <sighs> Forget him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sim here can help with that. Hyperion is Joe's bird, and it's a fast and rugged son of a bitch. Things for shortly. Shortly win. All participating jockeys, please proceed to the paddock. You good to go?
here's a secret. I survived that recent shooting. <sighs> You're not talking about the Coliseum, are you? Yes, I was there. Or I would have been had I not gone to the bathroom just before. That's amazing. <gasps> You're so lucky. Aren't I just? <laughs> Which is why I know my bird's a winner. <laughs> Ooh, what a scrumptious looking parfait. And with plenty of butterscotch, I see. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Got eyes on him. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Do you know how hot it is out here? I'm melting. God, what asshole decided our uniforms had to be black? I'll be there as soon as I can. You freaking better. And bring something cold to drink. Or better yet, ice cream. Is vanilla no, okay? No, vanilla. Seriously, I'm getting heat stroke over here. I'm gonna die! You want that? Do ya? <sighs> Wish you were here, partner. the real deal kiddo i just provided the encouragement and thanks to you my prison's gonna be a goddamn palace good for you Ooh, so frosty but here in the desert we like it hot fiery dangerous <laughs> yeah i'll bet now where's our guy easy snowflake solemn gus is a man of his word are you scared I'll break my promise? That tunnel over there will take you where you need to go. Past all that quicksand like a slippery little sidewinder. And at the other end, one of my beautiful vultures will be waiting to guide you through the desert. So be a good tourist. We got old Shooty McShooterson tied up nice and tight in a shack out in the scrapyard. But now he's all yours. Turn him over. Give him his just desserts. It's your call to make. Chewing on sand for weeks. <laughs> Thank God we found you. We were worried. You on the lamp, big guy? The hell I am! Uh. 
What are you guys doing all the way out here anyway? Looking for whoever decided to shoot up the Coliseum lobby. They said the culprit had a gun for an arm. <sighs> they did, huh? Tell me it wasn't you. Frankly, it might as well have been. Barrett, talk to us. I know the man who murdered all those people. Dying. My best friend. It was four years ago. The corral reactor had just gone up. Checked it out, see what the deal was. But on our way back... None of this makes any sense. That explosion could have brought down the whole mountain. So where the hell's Shinra? That's a damn good question. <sighs> Whatever. We need to get back. Tell them what we found. Shinra, they just showed up and started shooting. I think they're trying to cover up what happened at the reactor. To pin the blame on... Hey! Over here! Marlene and Eleanor might still be there. Ready? For what? <laughs> still so quick to throw in the towel, ain't you? Come on. Do I have to do everything? <clears throat> Shinra has a reputation for safety to uphold. Which makes you liabilities. So Marlene's... I managed to get away, but I was bleeding out. Figured that was it. Until Doc Sheeran came along and saved me. Put me back together. Most of me, anyway. There was no saving my arm, so I made a call. Instead of the normal prosthetic, I chose a means to an end. Guess Stein had the same idea. I guess he did. I'd resigned myself to the fact that he was dead, but if I'd known he'd survive too, I... So that's why Dine shot all those people? To get back at Shinra? I don't know. 
and I saw him at the saucer. Saw the bodies and the bullet holes. But that's not who Dime is. Whatever his faults, he's not a monster. If I can find him, talk to him. I know we can figure this out. Well, okay. What are we waiting for? Time like the present. Sure, he's here. For sure. I'm sorry, but I need to do this alone. Baron. Go. you hey I know you dying hang on I'll get you out of here <laughs> as I live and breathe Eric Wallace come on I'm glad your heart dropping by for Eleanor's birthday Place for Barrett. <laughs> yeah, he's looking fit as a fiddle. Huh. Good question. She ain't with him. Where's Myrna? She ought to be here. Time. What happened to you? Well, come to think of it, I don't see a give neither. But you ain't the kind to come empty handed. his kind doing here you son of a bitch still living on shinra's kill no man it ain't no. like that <laughs> Here to help you. 
<laughs> you here to help me? <laughs> He's here for you to take the load off your shoulders, right? Same old shit. You and me, then. Right here. Right now. Oh, God. It's over. Over? You think this is over? This ain't even close to over! Then end it. Kill me. I can't live like this anymore. Ferret! Stay away! <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? A way out. But where's that leave me? Huh? I thought you wanted to help your own buddy. <laughs> what? No wise words. When the going gets tough, he's gone. Yeah, you're right. About everything. I should have never believed him. But that money... I thought it'd change our lives. It changed them all right. You know, I can hear it now. Eleanor, as clear as day, begging me to stop, give you the benefit of the doubt, saying you ain't done nothing wrong. But then who's gonna answer for what happened? Oh, I know. Shinra! Always Shinra! She's alive. Just turned four. She's in Midgar. Look at that. She's got her mommy's eyes. Hair, too. After everything went down, I didn't know what to do. Myrna was dead. And I feel... 
figured you were too. All I had was guilt and regret, and the weight of it was too much. But Marlene gave me the strength to carry on. <laughs> she nearly died that day. House was about to come down when I heard her crying. to get up in the morning. You took my baby girl from me. You knew she meant the world to me. You knew. And still, you took her. That's not true. You took everything from me. Everything and everyone. Diane, we could go see Marlene right now. Look at me, Barrett. You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? Stop. With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? Here I thought that Gus guy was just yanking her chain. Same. That said, is it okay to let the director get involved like this? Were you going to stop him? Deploying riot control armor. All units are to pull back now. Well, have fun down there, boss man. Thank you. 
Oh, someone needs a spanking. You're gonna regret that. How about you back off? You do that, all right? Overwrite confirmed. 